problem. He's tabling up in the big tent in the political action area, but here he is to talk about marijuana prohibition. Light one up if you get it. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's great to be back on Harry's Hill. It's a beautiful day. I want to thank Harry for inviting us back out here. It's so much fun being around so many hemp-friendly people. This is a great time to be involved with cannabis hemp. There's so much going on. You hear about it on the news. You see it all around you. The green revolution is happening. More and more people are seeing how effective medical marijuana is. Just last week, Sanjay Gupta of CNN, one of the most recognized and well-respected doctors in the world, and a longtime opponent of medical marijuana, publicly apologized for being wrong. That was huge. He also produced a documentary showing how cannabis is helping young children, adults, and senior citizens. More and more people are eating healthy hemp foods and wearing hemp clothing. Who's got some hemp on here today? Anybody got hemp? I do. I got a hemp hat, hemp shirt, hemp pants, and hemp shoes. And this morning I washed up with some Dr. Bronner's hemp soap, drank some hemp milk, had a hemp power bar, and munched on a little some shelled hemp seed. So there's so many great hemp products out there. More and more people are realizing that marijuana prohibition has devastated countless lives. Last year, voters legalized marijuana in Colorado and Washington State. Yes, this is awesome. They're no longer arresting people for marijuana. And you can legally grow your own marijuana, and hopefully soon, you'll be able to go to a store and buy it. This is tremendous. We are making, we are making phenomenal progress. We are setting society on a new path towards compassion, understanding, and cooperation. Attorney General Eric Holder's recent statements about eliminating mandatory minimum sentences are a big step forward on this path. We are making history. Consider that phrase for a minute. Making history. How often can someone look at what they're doing and know that in 10 or 15 years, people will see them as part of a movement that created a kinder, healthier, cleaner, and more peaceful society? Who wants to be a leader of a movement that could change some of the fundamental ways that society operates? I know I do, but I need your help. You can become part of history. The cannabis renaissance is just happening, and there are so many opportunities in so many areas. One person can't do everything, but everybody can do something. And when we all pitch in and do something, we become part of something that's bigger than all of us combined. We become part of the cannabis community. We need providers and caregivers to help patients get their medicine. We need to support groups like Maine Green Cross and Medical Marijuana Caregivers of Maine. We need more research into the many beneficial aspects of medical marijuana. We need people to invent new hemp products. We need people to start new hemp companies. If you ever wanted to get in on the ground floor of anything, the hemp industry is it. The potential for growth is enormous, but it's gonna take a lot of hard work. And the need for social justice has never been greater. Thousands are killed each year fighting over the profits made from selling drugs. Over 700,000 Americans are arrested each year for marijuana. That's more than one every minute. Our prisons are overflowing with nonviolent offenders. And African Americans are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana than whites. This is institutional racism. Some people call it America's apartheid, and it has decimated our inner cities and communities of color. Our federal government still claims that marijuana has no medical value, even though numerous studies have shown that cannabis is effective for chronic pain, Crohn's disease, epilepsy, glaucoma, MS, nausea, anxiety, depression, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and many, many other ailments. Too many people have suffered or died because they did not have access to medical marijuana. Drug war victims, prisoners, and patients are all martyrs of marijuana prohibition, and they will not be forgotten. 
And to top it all off, they won't even let our farmers grow hemp. This is insane. It's outrageous and it must be changed. Thanks to Reefer Madness, we have been bombarded for over 70 years with government-sponsored misinformation and lies about marijuana. There's a huge stigma attached to people that, who use medical marijuana and for people who just want to smoke some pot after work to relax or have fun. That stigma is the legacy of Reefer Madness. We need to turn Reefer Madness into Reefer Gladness. Yes! If, if you could come out of the cannabis closet, please do. Talk to your friends. Talk to your family. Write letters to the editor. Call into talk radio, and people will see that cannabis consumers are just normal people like you and me. Do you use cannabis to treat an illness or to improve the quality of your life? Have you used marijuana to help you stop drinking, to stop smoking cigarettes, or to reduce your intake of those hardcore pharmaceuticals? If you have, make sure you tell your doctor. You'd be amazed at how, how brainwashed so many doctors are. We need to educate them. You can Google all sorts of medical research studies, show it to your doctor, explain it to them. And if they don't like what you're saying, find a new doctor. Did you know that cannabis is very helpful for treating post-traumatic stress disorder? Well, it is. And PTSD has recently been added to the list of qualifying conditions in Maine. So that's awesome. But there are so many veterans out there that could benefit from using cannabis. So if you care about our vets, and I know you do, you'll work with the Veterans Administration and the activist organizations to make sure they have access to this safe and effective medicine. Another thing everybody can do is buy more hemp. That's right. Shopping can help end prohibition. The more hemp products we buy, the more pressure we can put on Congress to legalize hemp. And there are more and more great products being introduced all the time. You can find hemp foods in your health food store. Dr. Bronner's soaps are everywhere, and that's great stuff, Dr. Bronner's. Or go online and order you some hemp products. Are you trying to eat healthier? Eat more hemp. Hemp is high in essential fatty acids. It's high in protein. It's high in fiber. But it's cholesterol-free, gluten-free, and there are no known allergies to hemp foods. So if you're lactose intolerant, drink some hemp milk. Do you have a skin condition? like eczema or psoriasis. Well, hemp seed oil is really good for treating that. And there's all sorts of salves and lotions out there, so pick up some hemp body care products. If you're in construction, why not build a house out of hemp? That's right. You can make hemp concrete, hemp particle board, hemp insulation, and hemp composite shingles. You can even heat your house with hemp seed oil biodiesel or take hemp stalks, crush it into pellets for your wood-burning stove. So it's amazing what you can do with hemp. There's so many things. And I brought my traveling hemp museum. We're up in the activist tent. So drop by, check out some of the hemp products, pick up a free hemp sample. But before we can make all these products in America, we have to be able to grow hemp in America. That's why we need to support organizations like Vote Hemp. Vote Hemp is lobbying Congress and educating the public, and they need your support. So now you know how you can help the cause with medical marijuana and industrial hemp. But if you're just sick and tired of the drug war, and if you want to stop the arrests, free the nonviolent prisoners, and end the discrimination, one thing you can do is support politicians like Maine State Representative Diane Russell. She wants to legalize marijuana and end this horrible war on innocent people. So keep in mind, most Americans think that marijuana should be legalized. We're ahead of the politicians on this. That's why we need more leaders like Diane Russell who have the courage to say out loud, that marijuana prohibition is wrong. So keep in mind that everything you do today, while it's positive in its own right, it's also building towards a better tomorrow. You will be seen as a pioneer. You will be seen as a visionary who helped you, humanity. We are making history. We are the tip of the spear. The tip of the spear is going to pierce the heart of prohibition, releasing the prisoners, healing our bodies, opening our minds, cleaning our environment, and strengthening our economy. Join me as we make history together. Thank you very much. Keep up the fight, and peace.